Hey, this is Sam with Ridester.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Uber Passenger app. So here we are. Uh, on the front page, you can just quickly jump right into going somewhere. And so this is just a fictitious place that I picked, probably not my house. Um, and there are plenty of places where you can click to go uh, that are saved or you can add. So let's say we need to go to the airport. Terminal 1. Now, this is just a really quick overview, and then I'm going to go back and show you a little more details. Uh, right now, if you look at the top of the app, it says four minutes, and it shows an address of where I'm at right now. Now, this four minutes means it will take four minutes for the person, uh, the nearest Uber car to get to me. And if you, you can quickly look around and see how many Uber cars are available. This is actually a very helpful tip to use uh, during hot um, really, really peak times. Now, if you look at the bottom, there are multiple different kinds of Uber um, experiences. So the most basic is Uber X. And in many markets, there's also something called Uber Pool, which is basically a carpool with other strangers. This is can be this can be something very advantageous for you to use if you want to save as much money as possible and you have a little more time to get to your location. Furthermore, <clears throat> if you do Uber Pool at a time where other people are not doing Uber Pool, Uber will give you that Uber Uber Pool price even though you may be driving riding alone. So uh, that is a really great benefit. Oh, look at that! Three minutes now. Someone is so close. Look, people are right down the street from me. I live in an area where there's always an Uber car down the street. Now, UberX is another option, which obviously with the name implies it's bigger. It can, for groups of six or more. Now, one thing to notice is that all it takes is for a car to be able to fit six people or more. If you have seven people, some cars can handle it, like my Toyota Sienna. However, they may not have a Sienna and they may only be able to fit six. So this is something you want to ask ahead of time after you book. Select is nicer cars. And in every single one of these, there's a little eye with a circle. You can cl click on that, and it gives you a feel for uh, more of the prices. It breaks it down that it only can fit one to four, and per wait time is 37 cents. You can see that the fare is $39.31, which is steep compared to 21.37. Now, if you want to see the breakdown of how much you're paying even more, there's another eye with a circle. Boom. <coughs> And it shows you, uh, as of right now, in May 2018 in Minneapolis, it's 16 cents per minute and a dollar and five cents per mile. There was a nice little 5% increase recently, um, and that is the case. Now, something that often people don't know is if you see right here, if you start moving your finger over it, there's premium. Premium are, this is when you're going high end. So uh, premium black, this is not XL size, but it is a black uh, luxury car. And again, you can see more of the details. Here it is, $3.25 a mile. And if you want SUV, woo-wee, $3.80 a mile and $0.35 cents a minute. This is uh, a larger group, and this is if you want to ride in style, which is something I probably will never do um, unless someone else is paying. So that those are the different options. Now let's say, let's click. Um, I'm not going to confirm the ride because I do not want to pay for that. But what I can do is look at the bottom right. You see this right here? It says you see the the little um, car with the clock. You can schedule a time ahead of time. You can schedule a ride ahead of time, um, whether it's even a whole week ahead, which is an amazing free feature so that you can, if you have a business trip or need to, need to go to the airport, you can set these ahead of time. Another little benefit is that you can set ahead of time and save yourself from some search as, as of right now. Uh, I think it's a glitch that they need to fix. It hurts drivers, and some drivers are utilizing that in an abusive way. Um, also, right from the beginning, you can click here and schedule a ride. Now, let's go down a little bit on this app. Um, they have always promotions. But one thing that I do want to highlight that I think is a really great option is that if you opt in for local offers, you can get all kinds of places nearby and get cash back onto your Uber card or as Uber credit. So Arby's used to be 7% uh, back um, for a while. And so instead of going to another restaurant, I went to Arby's uh, when I needed to eat some fast food. And so I start to rack up Uber credits. 
You can also go to grocery stores typically. Um, let's see if there's any other ones. Fogo de Chao. I mean, come on. Fogo de Chao. That's, that's good stuff right there. Lots of different places. Um, I don't see any grocery stores right now. Um, but look at these on a regular basis and see if you can get some um, Uber credits back. And then which is so cool is that if you use Uber often enough, you're going to get your, um, not only you're going to use those credits, but if you have a cashback card, you're getting more percentages back. So when they first rolled this out, they had really, really ridiculously high percentages. And now they've kind of scaled it back. And depending on when you watch this video, it can be even more. Hit that question mark. Um, let's skip that right there. Um, so that's the Uber uh, offers, Visa offers. Um, and where if you want to opt in for that, you can go to settings and here you can opt in for the uber offers now since we're in settings you can put your whoop don't want you guys to see that um you can look at your you can add a favorite for your home and work which is a really great way to do shortcuts um, you also can um, opt in for your calendar to be um, synced with uber so that whenever you need to get a ride you're going to be able to quickly do that um, also, you can set up your family. Um, this is a way for you to pay for other people and for people to even see your um, progress. This is great if you are paying for maybe a, um, a mother who doesn't use um, a smartphone and you can follow them along. This is a really great option. Finally, um, let's go to a few more things on the home page. Um, they have Uber Eats, which there's another video that we've made to show you how to use Uber Eats. And then you can share your own code with other people to get free rides. Um, now let's go right to the settings. Uh, settings, your trips is really helpful because it can show you um, different things that you have done. Wow, look at all these canceled rides. And so this is when I was in Georgia and you can kind of review your ride. And if you have issues, you can click here under help. I lost an item and immediately there's options for you. There's so many different options. You can look at receipts. You can use this for business expenses and so forth. Um, so this is trip details. You can also, on trip details, go to upcoming, which is different rides that are coming up, maybe that you scheduled, or look at different family rides that you have set up. They have a new feature with where you can send gift cards um, if you are into that. Um, right now it's not working. But uh, basically if you can pay for a gift card to send it to yourself, or to someone else. And finally, you can go to help, and help has more, more um, breakdowns. And this is something I showed you earlier for the trip, specific trip issues. Um, they're all here. And you can look at it. There's, there's, they're trying to save time from people to having to look at, um, to just send in the same questions over and over again. So they have all these headings. So it, it may take you a minute to find um, an issue, uh, find the exact um, issue you have, but 99% of the issues will be already on one of these preset presets. And finally, you can look at view all messages, which is if you had a conversation with someone, you can, um, with Uber, um, you can go back and forth here and look at what they said to you. Um, in my experience, they've, treat, they've taken care of um, me very well as a passenger, much better than as a driver. So I had one issue with one um, particular driver who was driving while he was uh, FaceTiming with someone else for about five, five